Hey guys, Brian Prey here, and welcome to my 73rd episode of Mountain Blade Warband. In the last episode, we were pressing our advantage on the Serenids. They're pretty weak and useless, but they're still being annoying and they won't accept my peace offers, so I'm gonna have to smack their face in some more. So, let's continue doing that. Let's see if we can find any little lords hiding around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Excuse me. I think you would like to die. All 45, all 45 of your glorious troops will die. All right. Surrender or die, my friend. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what exactly happened. But it looks like we're back in business, so let's keep going. Ride, my minions. Let's go. Um, we're going to spread out. I know there's only 45 enemies here, so... It might not be that big of a deal. And I'm gonna get some water here. Um. Yeah. I need some water. It's like really freaking hot in my room. Uh, where I live, it's summer. And it's really hot. And my parents are like really freaking cheap. So they, they don't turn on the AC ever. Or it's like 75. I'm like, no, no, it should be 72 or like 69 always in the house. Yeah, 69. Um, but still, I, I think 75 or 76 is what they have it at, and it's, that's ridiculously hot. Especially when I'm up in my room and I got my computer going, because my computer makes like so much heat. And I'm just sitting there like next to it, and my leg is sweating only, and I'm like, oh, that's not good, that's hot. But, you silly serenades. I guess I should try to kill something instead of just aimlessly riding around. What a moron I am. Man, Sipa, you love playing that, that Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I mean, I really should turn to toggle my uh, thing to offline, but I think it's still cool to like see what everybody else is doing. As long as... sometimes people bother me, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I've been really busy lately, so if you guys have tried to call me or contact me on Skype or anything, or on Steam or something like that, and I have not responded to you, please don't take that personally. It's just, I've been really busy. Like, this is the first time, this night, tonight, is the first time I've had a lot of time to record, so, uh, like, it's been, I've been busy. And that's, that mostly is just, like, some personal stuff, as well as, you know, not all the time is good for her to record, of course, you know, you got sometimes your family's up or whatever. But, you know what I mean, guys, so, um, that's nothing personal, I'm not ignoring you or anything. Oh, wow. These are some cool-looking armor. It's been a long time since I fought Serenid, so I haven't had the, the privilege to see these items in a while. But they're, they're useless, sadly. Quali Qualut? That's a really weird name. They, they, they gotta be creative, you know, naming these things, or they got, like, some sort of random stupid name generator. Like, look at this name. Rush Diggy. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Rush dig. Rush dig. -huh. I like. Well, well who named who named that? There's probably. I bet you there's somebody's job who's like, they're like, ooh, we need to come up with weird names for all these towns. Go. You have like a month. Ah, look at those recruits, just ticking in. Nice, nice, nice. My party is mutt men or mid nut. What? I don't even want to say that. That's like, who thinks that? Ayun Asadi. That's a pretty cool name, though. I gotta admit, this one here, I... Holy crap, that's a lot of enemies. Ooh, is that the Sultan? If we can break off some of these men, we can take them all out at once. Holy crap, you guys are dead. Ooh, come on, you little 54 bastard. Ooh, two at once, you're done. You're done. <laughs> oh, wait, what the heck? Oops. Surrender or die. I guess I, I guess he talked me and I accidentally clicked, oh, I don't want to fight. And since he had a good relation with us, he was like, oh, okay, I'll let you off this one time. So I guess that's what happened. Weird. I really need my freaking sword. But uh, that's nice that he only we only have to fight one enemy. See, but you love that Counter-Strike. I don't know why you keep going in and out of that. I guess he's like trying to install a mod or something. I don't, I don't know. If he watches this, like, oh, that'd be so funny because it's like, oh, you're famous now. <laughs> you got to be on my video. Whatever. I don't, I do not consider myself famous at all in the slightest because, you know, like, even 
a, like there's no at, at no point am I famous at all. You know, I feel great though. Like 400 subscribers is amazing. But I know I'm not going to get a big head about it and be like I'm famous now. I'm not going to shave my head and stuff and start adopting African babies. No, I'll leave their the babies with their with their mommies in Africa or whatever. Regardless, let's kill some Mamluk here. God, you love you loves that global offensive. I gotta say. I hope he likes being famous, because he's we're definitely we're gonna make CPO famous. More famous than me. More famous than PewDiePie. Let's go. We gotta be get him to be the most most subscribed on YouTube, CPO. I don't I don't even know if he makes videos. <laughs> Or, I don't even, I don't think he even has, a, his username is different, I think, than on YouTube, so I have no idea who that is, actually. If that's you, let me know. Who's CPO? Who likes to play Gobo Offensive so much? Man, I love counter -Shot. I love, I played 1.6 back in the day. It was a good, it's a good game. Many a days I played on CS Assault. My favorite ones were the zombie mods, where they had uh, un unlimited ammo in the gun, like you never had to reload. That was like pretty cool. Uh, we'll let him go because he loves me so much. Uh, got another knight here, another huntress here. Good, and we can capture these footmen, of course. No reason not to. I'm not just gonna let them run free. All right, so we've done a good job, I think, of taking out. Ooh, can we get some more peeled off here? Ooh, this is even better. Oh, looks that we saw another. They, they, we split them. Awesome. So the Sultan is fighting us. Um, we'll fight you to the end. Charge the enemy. Ooh, this has been a long time since we fought a bunch of guys like this. I'm proud of these Sil these Saradins for, you know, getting so many men together and being able to put up such a good good fight. Wow, my arrows are not hitting anything. Oh, am I aiming over them? Wow, I'm the biggest loser ever. Ooh, where's the Sultan? I want to kill the Sultan. Who looks like a Sultan? Are you the Sultan? Are you the Sultan? No, no, he's the Sultan. Ah, don't you don't hit me. I'm shooting you. That's how this works. Oh, cool! I killed an enemy here. Awesome. I wish it was a Sultan, but I'm sure the Sultan's already probably dead. There's no no chance for me. I wish they didn't all look alike. You know, it's really easy to tell the uh, like the the boyars apart from their units, but. These sultans are in the uh, emirs are like the exact same looking as their their units. Come on, Mamluk! Thank you, Mamluk! Don't you kill him? Don't you kill that? Thank you. Oh, right by his head. There we go. Now we got him in the head. And that archer too. Those are the, like I said. The serenade archers can actually be quite fierce. Are you trying to shoot me? Who the heck do you think you are? Or stab me? To even worse? I mean, shooting is one thing, because, you know, that must take some sort of skill, and I'm kind of being a, a shooter as well. I'd feel bad if I got shot, but if I even stab me, I'm gonna just cry. I like the fact that they get uh, those uh, throwing things rather than uh, arrows right away. That's sometimes helpful. Ooh, sorry, you know, you never should put your shield down when I'm pointing a big arrow at you. Excuse me. Thank you. And uh, here comes all the cavalry, so there's no no chance for me to... I guess I gotta save this guy. Oh, stupid horse. Sorry. Did I get a headshot randomly? Oh, no. oh it was a horse headshot. It was probably my own ally. Oops. I guess I can shoot this horse. Wow, this is a slippery horse here. There we go. Okay, cool, we won. Woohoo! I'll shoot this guy too, just make sure he's dead. He don't want to come back as a zombie, you know. Double tap. Double tap. Oh, don't forget that rule. Um, oh wow, so many troops left still. Uh, okay, let's fight. I think I got like a splinter in my ankle or something, because my ankle's been like itchy and like like stabby you know stabby sounds kind of stupid but you know what I mean it's like been poking me and it's like I know there's nothing in my sock because I changed my sock but there must be something like sort of poison ivy or something I, I need to stop scratching I don't know I'm camping last night 
I don't know why. This episode seems to be like, share my personal feelings episode. I, I know that might bother some people who are like more into the mountain blade aspect, but I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's like, it's a little late at night. Uh, I might admit, and I'm a little, light, a little bit tired because as I was trying to say a little earlier, I went camping last night and we did not sleep very much at all. So yeah, it was kind of shitty. I had to sleep on a, on a, you know, this pool, those pool chairs, you know, with the, like, they just got the little rubber that goes over it. I had to sleep on that. It was like, it was horrible. It's like sleeping on, I, I would, probably would have done better sleeping on like a rock or something. Because those things are horrible. Also, I was sort of afraid because it's like we had to sleep outside. There's no like no tent, nothing, right? It was just on the, on the the deck, like around the pool, and uh, we had to sleep like on those dang chairs. And it's like, ow! And there was bugs. Oh god, cockroaches! I had a like there was a cockroach that came up next to me, and I, I my shoe was off, so I was sitting there, and I just picked up my shoe and I crushed its head with the with the shoe, and I left it there. So like blew the corpse of it or whatever, so that when its friends came by, they knew that they got to hightail it out of there. So no more cockroaches came and bothered me for the rest of the night. I was a little worried that that would backfire, you know, and that I'd wake up in the morning and there'd be like 50 cockroaches like eating the other cockroach. But luckily that did not happen. Anyway, I will I'll try to keep it not in blade centric now, just for now on. I just now that I'm done sharing my cockroach story. Oh look, there's the uh, there's the enemy cavalry. I'm quite certain that we've probably already seen their that the enemy lords have already made their appearance and been knocked out. So these guys are most likely enemy horsemen. So not nothing really to worry about. Ooh, that was a nice headshot. Got randomly. I really need to pick up my sword. I'm just I'm just dumb, guys. Don't 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 be too mad. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna kill me in one shot. I'm not getting that couched lance damage. Oh, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Archer. Thank you. No, that's my master archer. I want to kill it. No. Oh. oh, well, at least they're making this quick. Oh, and there goes the routers. Wow, that's quite a few routed. How many routed? Five routed, dang. That's ridiculous how many people can... I hate these Serenids on their horses. They're too fast. Next time we're going to surround them. Oh, we finished them all. Uh, did we lose the Sultan? Oh yes, he did. He managed to escape. But uh, we're going to free this guy because he loves us. We're going to make him love us more. We can capture all these guys, of course. We've got a Marksman. Awesome. Two more Swadian Knights. Oh, ooh, another Vagar Knight. Do we even have... Is that our first Vagar Knight? I don't know. Oh wow, there's actually a bunch of items here. Is there anything good? Ah, why is there never anything good? So sad. But I will let my men upgrade themselves. I hope that oh they took a somebody took some javelin and a horse. That's nice. We'll gather twenty one of these items, I guess. And we'll help uh Thane Hadia out. He seems to be in trouble over here. Hopefully we make it in time. There we go. We're gonna rush to his aid, clearly. Here we go, charging the enemy, and me and my doomy, dumb, I'm dumb, I forgot my, uh, stuffs. Oh man, I gotta sneeze so bad, guys. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I hope I cut this out. Oh my god, I'm gonna drink some water, too. Alright guys, sorry about that, I really had to sneeze horribly, and like I said, that's like the worst noise ever, so you guys never want to be exposed to that, because it's just like, especially if you're wearing headphones, or if there's like somebody in the next room, it's gonna like blow out their ears. But anyway, our cavalry seems ready to go, so let's let's open up the lines to charge. And these idiot, these stupid Serenins, they left their, <laughs> they left their Sultan over, then like, we killed him. 
And they just were like standing here chasing Thane Hadria, and now we're gonna kill them as well. It's just like a bunch of bad decisions. Nord Footman, uh, I believe that is our allies, Nord Footman, so not to be worried. Ooh, shot in the leg. Dang, that was vicious. That was cold blooded. Let's see here. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, whoa, that was close. I did not. What the hell? Did I do? Whoa, that was a lucky shot. Um. Yeah, I did not want to get couch lanced. One shotted. So um, I, I'm gonna break my promise I said a little earlier, keeping this mountain blade centric. But uh, it is sort of related to mountain blade more so than my pool story, um, camping story. But uh, I'm gonna start. I have to make a new commercial, obviously, for the for the channel. You know, there's the one commercial that's up there now. If you're subscribed to me, you have not seen it because you know it's only for sub unsubscribed people or whatever that they show it. But um, I need to make a new one because there's like, for instance, Skyrim. I don't play that game anymore. And, uh, and uh, I Am Alive, and nobody really seemed to like that game, so, I mean, it still works good as the commercial, of course, but I would like to update it. I'd like to update it with, uh, you know, some of these new scenes, and uh, with the face cam and stuff like that, because I know a lot's changed since I made that commercial video. So, please, if you have any suggestions on what videos or, like, sections I should use for, like, if there's any moments that you really enjoyed or something like that, please let me know in the comments because I'd really love to showcase like the best of my best for anybody who's coming to join see the channel for the first time. So I, I really appreciate it guys if you get the chance. Thank you. Alright, so yes, we won battle, whatever. Oh no, we still didn't win, there's 29 left. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll spread out because I, I do like having the huge line of cavalry, it looks really cool. But uh, their cavalry is riding out to meet us, foolishly. So we'll charge them anywhere. But we did get to disperse, so and since we dispersed, we should be able to ride in there, sit in the enemy easy, more easily. Although I wish it would have been on, on these guys, but, you know. Like, look at that, guys. We got, like, a huge cone of, of our men. It's like, the cone does not, the cone, of, cone technique is not good. Because all your cavalry just, like, lines up and is, like, idiotically ineffective because... Once the first guy stops, it's like, oh, everybody stops, you know? It's like in those old sitcoms or whatever, when the when you're like running in a line really close together and they've all got their like little uh, magnifying glass looking at the ground and the first guy stops and then like the last, the, the second guy runs into him, right? And then the next guy runs into him and then they all just like do an accordion and they fall over. It's like, that's what happens with your knights if you don't spread them out first with, by making them hold into a big line. Anyway, I'm rambling and we've already won. <laughs> How touching. Yeah, fuck you too. Alright, uh, yeah, you, you can go free. We love you. Okay. Um. Oh, he managed to escape, sadly, but we can capture his his horsemen and stuff. Ooh, Vigor Marsmen, Swedish Knights. Huntresses. Ooh, Camp Defender. That's one away from Sword Sister, right? Yep. Good for her. Let's see, is there anything good on the ground here? Oh, those serenade plate boots are very nice. They actually are on par with our rusty iron greaves. Let's uh, let our men upgrade themselves. And yes, they did take that. So good. Alright, so looks like we've got some ratted enemies. Stain Hadria is waiting there. Uh, overall, that was a good good thing that we did. So let's let's head back to the dream. We'll send another emissary. See if they're more... Feeling the peace vibe, you know, now that we've uh, just destroyed their faces. It's nice that we ran into that huge party, because I, I bet you that was headed for, like, Durham or something horrible like that. They're going to be like, oh, Durham, we stuck it from you. I'll be like, I would be so sad. I bet you I'd, like, rage quit and just start recording over again from the last episode, save if somebody just randomly rickrolled me or something and, like, Rothel now stomped my Durham when I wasn't paying attention. Ah, the Kingdom of Swedia is no more. That is sad for them, but uh, still good for us. Now, it should be removed from the faction relations. Yes, so there's the faction relations is one smaller, and uh, hopefully we'll continue on this. Like, you know, tell them there's, there's no factions at all left. So, hopefully, that's what happens. 
Anyway, let's resume traveling here. Um, something that I might consider is uh, joining the Kurjits or something. I don't know. Maybe joining... I don't know who we join, but like uh, joining somebody and then taking over the entire rest of the world and um, then defecting and like being like, oh, we own everything. So I don't know. That kind of, it kind of is not a good idea right now, but uh, somebody has suggested it and I just wanted to give it a, a shout out. It's kind of too late, you know. So we got all these guys in our lockup, but we don't have anything. I don't know if we can sell them because it's been a long time. Do we have it? I would be so sad if that's a ransom broker. Traveler, where's ransom brokers? All right, here's fifty dinars or whatever. You, uh, you damn, you damn blackmailer, mm. stealing my last dinar. Let's go look for uh, an arena. Yeah, we want to run to the arena, but I want to go look for a tournament. Are there any tournaments nearby? What? Okay, fine. Good, that's what I'll do. I'll jump into here. Opponents remaining. This has been a long time. What the hell? He's got a bow and arrow. Of course, that's what happens first, but uh, anyway. Uh, it's been a really long time since I tried this out, and since I've got all this new weapon skill and stuff, I should be really good. No block. Alright, good. I'm gonna take his shield and sword. Can I? Can I please? Can I please? One-handed is probably going to be much, much better than two-handed. I don't think we're going to get much, you know, money, really. It's not going to be a big money deal for us now. Oh, I guess not. We're done. Wow, that was uh, pretty vicious. Oh, well, we didn't even win any money. That's funny. All right, no, don't want to quit. God, I can't believe I keep opening that menu and almost quitting. Because, like, I've already done 20 minutes of recording. That would have been so horrible to quit. But anyway, let's get rid of all this junk that we have here. And we can buy some more food and just get going. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. I remembered. <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to remember. But I did. Uh, let's go ahead and not buy any more grain or bread because I feel like we have like the uh, the ultra surplus right here of grain and bread and then we still have more up here which is even worse but uh we'll buy all the cheese and maybe we'll buy some pork but I don't want the sausage to go bad but that's fine I don't think sausage actually goes bad let's move all this up here there we go now we don't have our super weird surplus hiding in the bottom all right so there him is good let's see what to do, where to go now. Perhaps there's some weak uh, castle that we could take from the Seltante. Uh, where I believe they're the only one we're at war with right now. The Serenids, yes, we're the only ones at war with them right now because there's no Swadians anymore, which were the only other people we're at war with besides them, which is very nice. We don't have to worry about pretty much anything now. Good. Um, let's, do a, let's do a mission for... Yeah, we need to do a mission here for him because I think our prosperity has started to slip. Let's meet with our guildmaster here. Um, you wouldn't have to have a job for me, buddy. Uh, fine. Let's escort the caravan. To Suno? Oh, yeah, that's easy. Just need to drink some water. Ooh, it's hot in here. All right. So uh, we got to find that caravan. Okay, they'll find they'll follow us um sure we'll give them back that guy I wish they would try to just get peace with us you know in general I guess I gotta wait for them here all right ooh I hope we got a bunch of money six thousand that's nice that's nice look at that five thousand five fifty fifty four thousand in ours we got now that's awesome it's um, okay there's Suno so they should be able to all right, so uh, if we find them, we just need to talk to them. Oh, God, it's so hard to click on them now that they're inside the building almost. There we go. All right, good. So our relation with their him has improved, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, we need to improve prosperity mostly, which is, that, that's what we're doing. The defensive pact between us has expired and degraded. Uh, the him has gone from average to rich. See, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, Tishtamesh is being raided, so yeah, we're gonna go fucking up for doing that. I thought we killed all of them. Let's dispatch an emissary from Therium really fast before we go 
mess up with him? Who's this here? Friend? Would you like to be? Thin Caligris. Um, I'm sorry, your service is not required. I, I don't want to bring him in, and the reason why is because he's got such a low relation with me to start out with, and he's just going to end up being like a little, like, run, yell, being mad at me. So, I'm sorry, your service is not required. Alright, sorry, Thane. You hold Suna, my rightful fief. Well, idiot. No, I'm not giving it back to you. Alright, so, uh, let's see. I wish to improve. Uh, I need to speak with you as my wife. Oh, there it is. I dispatch an emissary to the Siltante. We should ensure a truce. Mythel, yes, good. Wait, oh, dang it. No, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, God. Like I said, it's a little. It's a, it's a bit late at night. And I'm a little tired, but whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna push through for you guys and not be an idiot. So, uh, truce. Metheld. Yes, do that. Alright. That's all for now. Okay. Um Let's manage our garrison here. We're probably not gonna have to carry around a bazillion knights anymore. We could probably carry a bazillion recruits around. These tribesmen are mostly what I'm looking at. How can we only have a oh I guess it's because he's already upgraded them. Good for him. So let's put back these crossbows, archers, horsemen, marksmen, men at arms. Oh crap, I should have upgraded that sword sister, but too late. We'll just take only the Swadian Knight. Let's grab these 80 tribesmen. And if we have any more room left, we'll take these crossbowmen. Good enough for me. Let's get out of here and we'll go deal with him at Tishtamesh. Farmers versus a 39. Alright, he's fine. I don't really care. We'll take, we'll take him out. Let's just make sure Tishtamesh doesn't get raided. I may, They might have just chased that guy down here, so... I don't actually see anything bad around here. Oh wow, so they're they're almost done building the watchtower here. Good for them. Alright. There's some deserters down there. I mean, we, we're really just trying to train up these, uh, these... Oh. Oh, good. Poor to average. Nice. Oh, there's a... I can't believe I just held that down while the guy ran past me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna chase this guy. He's the one that was running around. He hurt my farmers, so I'm gonna hurt his face and his friends and his family and his mom. Mostly his mom. Let's go. Where's your mom? Oh no, sir! You're not going to toast, sir. You're going to get. You're going to get it. Oh, oh, certainly I will destroy you, and I'm going to take you prisoner so hard, you do not even understand. And I've got my sword. You're done. Sword time is fun time. I'm sorry if I like. I notice I've been slouching a little bit, so I'm like, I'm just like, it's just my head is like above the the, 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 the the tiny little bit of the webcam. So I'm sorry if that actually happens. And you can't see anything. That's that would suck. I'm doing my best to not slouch. It's just I've got to get used to you know being on a webcam. It's a it's a new thing for me, but it's really cool. I like doing it, and I hope that you know it's just it's somebody asked me why I did it, and they were like. Well, why, why, why do you need a webcam? You know, it's you're not really like doing anything cool on it, or you know, like making faces or something like that. But I just think it's a little something extra, you know, that not everybody does face cam. So maybe you guys will. I, I mean, a lot of people do face cam, but not everybody does face cam. So I just hope that's another thing that adds to how much you guys like me, you know. And it becomes makes it a little bit more personal in my big face, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start editing, like, maybe get rid of these, these, like, random spaces over here on the sides that are not very useful. So, like, kind of like how I do in Victoria, where it's more of a square face cam rather than this rectangle. I mean, you might not be able to see my Pokemon as well, but, yeah, it'll, I don't know. You guys let me know. Ah, oh, good we won. Uh, Sweeting Knight, of course. Oh, yeah, we lost that guy at the beginning. I'm so sad. We'll take that peasant woman to replace him. Ooh, look at that guy's 80 Reduke crossbowmen. Oh my god, we got so many crossbowmen now. We can capture all these guys. Done. 
Anything good? Of course they never have any... Oh, wow, that's actually very nice. I mean, not for us, but, you know. I'm sure one of our guys really loved that. Oh, wow, he did. Sweet, now we're going to have some fancy people. I wonder who it was. Let's look at our party and see who took that shirt. Oh, Bahaster, I think it was you. Look at how fancy he is. Yep, that was the only, that's the only one who possibly could have taken it. Yeah, this, those Sultan Day people, they're like a little bit too big for their britches, I think. Like, for instance, look at this guy. 35, trying to fight. No, you're, you're, you're trifling with the wrong peoples here. Excuse me. You better run. But we've got 6.2 speed, you got 5.1, you're done. Good to see you again. Oh, yes, hello. Uh, yeah, we let him go, whatever. Surrender or die. Charge. At least he understands, you know? Some people, like, are little bitches about it. When I let them go, they're like, Ah, you, you let me go, and now, like, that's so rude. You should have, like, imprisoned me and tortured me. That's what I like. But, um, this, this guy, I like it when these people are like, Oh, thanks, you know, for letting me go. It's a cool move. You didn't have to. I realize. I appreciate that. He's pretty cool looking old dude though too. I like his like mustache beard combo. I mean he's not as swagalicious as our as our sexy beard, you know. Or I think we have a sexy mustache rather. Yeah, so I know he's he's not gonna be number one on my list of sexiest men in Kauradia, but still it's nice. He looks cool. He looks like a uh, Papa Smurf or something. With a beard. Papa Smurf with a beard. I think Papa Smurf only had a mustache. I don't remember. Papa Smurf has been so long. He might have a beard too. I'm just... This has like completely been too long, guys. I am now... Oh, he got away. I would have rather had to let him go, but that's fine. Right, let's just gather these things. It's a little bit late, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, we're going to upgrade our men here. And I think it's going to be calling it a night. I cannot be any more moronic with you guys so i i'm gonna stop here thanks thanks again for watching spray and pray out and please remember if you have any uh, comments or anything you want to help me with and finding a good um you know a good commercial for the uh for the channel please let me know in the comments thanks thanks again again for watching spray and pray out